All right, West Lawrence, one of five teams to enter the postseason at 9-1. They're riding a three-game winning streak and wanted to keep it up in the shoe against Luella. All right, here come the Raiders. Looking to put on for Lawrence County. Nasty conditions everywhere. Daniel Dorsey, I think you've seen this before. Muffs the opening kickoff. He's going to scoop it up. Immediately breaks a tackle. He's going to be able to escape another one. And there he goes. Dorsey finds daylight. And you know what time it is. Got a blast. See you later. Dorsey goes 90 plus yards to the house. And Wes Lawrence is on the board. And then Dorsey, you know, he's going to be back at it after we get a little love from the cheerleaders. He's going to get the handoff here. Up the middle, breaks a tackle on third and six. He's going to be able to keep the drive alive. But on the next set of downs, he will not be so lucky. Gets the handoff here, round the right end. He's going to be brought down in the backfield, and the Raiders are forced to punt. On the defensive end, it's a bit of a slip and slide. Third down, and Daniel Lindo says, I want to be a cowboy, baby. Wrangles Jamal Vasquez in the backfield to force a Luella punt. Next drive for West Lawrence, Shante Burning. He's going to bend it like Beckham to the backside. Gets slung down, but not before he gets a first down. And if you watch West Lawrence football, you recognize this phrase. A.J. Mathis to Brent Carr, touchdown. Raiders go up two scores in the first quarter. But in the second, that mud's going to play a factor. Dorsey can't handle the handoff. Ball is loose, and Luella's Lamar Overton scoops it up. Mathis trying to chase him down. He's not going to catch him, and they bring it all the way back for a score. Zaxby's FFN scoreboard, that would be the only Lions score. West Lawrence dominates this one 37-6. They play Oconee, or North Oconee, rather. 